You're looking at all the winners from the 2012 Manitoba High School Hockey League season, and I'm here with two of them, two of the big winners, I should say. Liam Bilton is on my left, and Jessica Kaminsky is on my right. They were the Outstanding Male and Female Award winners this year, the award named after Ed Belfour. So I'll start with you, Jessica. 47 goals in 15 games, obviously a lot of things going right for you this season. Yeah, it's, it's been a great season, also winning uh, Nationals with the Pemina Valley Hawks, so everything's been going in the right direction it seems so far, so that's great. And uh, according to the press release, you know you're uh, heading out uh, to Union College, out uh, playing some Division One hockey next season, so talk about the excitement leading into that. Yeah, it's pretty overwhelming, I don't have to work hard for it, but it's a great opportunity, I'm looking forward to it. For sure, that's Jessica Kaminsky, the female award winner of the Ed Belfour Award. And Liam, on my left side here, Liam, talk about the season you guys had in St. Paul's. This award really, in addition to your most valuable players, your provincial all-stars, just another one in a long list of awards for you this year. Uh, yeah, it feels great. Um, this year our team won both cities and provincials, so it was nice to go out on, a, on top. Mm -hmm. And talk about, uh, you know, you all, obviously you also have some NCAA aspirations of your own. Have you had uh, some interest from schools down there? Uh, not really. It's pretty far in the future. I'll probably stay here for a couple of years, hopefully make the MJHL and then see, see what happens. Keep an eye out for both of these guys, Liam Bilton and Jessica Kaminsky, the winners of the Ed Bell for Female and Male Athlete of the Year Awards for Manitoba High School Hockey. Beverly Lunny of Garden City won the female scholarship from the Winnipeg Jets alumni and friends. She was joined by Tyler Fenning Cox of the Nipawa Tigers. Both players were captains of their respective teams. The Sammy Joe Small Award went to Devin McFadden from Kelvin. She was also selected as the team's hardest working player and also participates in rugby, cross country running, and team handball. Marc Andre Samart of Collège Gabriel Wa picked up two awards, the first being the Ken Fryer Nicholson Award, and he was also the male recipient of the Alexander Josephson Memorial Scholarship. Samard had 19 points in 18 games this season and added 10 points in four playoff games. Up next was the Fred Stevenson Award. Megan Porath of St. Mary's was the winner this season. Outside of hockey, she volunteered for her church dinner and a benefit concert for famine in Africa. The female recipient of the Alexander Josephson Memorial Scholarship was Taylor Morriso of Dakota. Morriso posted a 1.85 goals against average this season and was nominated for goaltender of the year. For Shaw TV, I'm Mitchell Clinton.